Here's the video no one's been waiting for. The cost of the bike build. <laughs> Building this bike from scratch cost more than I initially thought it would because I had to overcome some issues with the equipment, which I'll go into. I've included the price of everything and where I didn't have a price, I've made a reasonable estimate. I haven't factored in a time cost because I enjoy doing this sort of thing too much to care about how long it takes, as long as it's warm outside. Again, you can pick up a whole bike for less than the final cost on the second hand market, but you may still have to put some work into it unless you're really lucky. I will be making a video about the price of new bikes, so watch out for that, and you can decide where you would rather spend your time and money. Most of the following is bought from eBay unless otherwise stated. Start with a frame. The cost including delivery was £40.19. The seat post I picked up from a bike repair charity I donate bikes to for £5. The saddle I already owned but I did purchase it in a sale at a tri shop in North Yorkshire for about £10 a few years ago. The seat post clamp bolt cost £4.25. The handlebars cost me £7.99 and came with the bar in plugs. The bar tape was £4.27 from Amazon. The brake levers were £16.35. On a side note, I picked up the same levers after I bought these at the Cycle Jumble for £5, so be sure to shop around. The quill stem cost £7.99. The same seller was selling it for £12 on Amazon, so again, shop around. The shifters were £11. You can get better deals, but you have to balance cost with how you want your bike to look. The crank set, which included chain rings, was £24.95. In order to get the chain to work with chain rings, I needed to shim the big ring using washers from a DIY store, which cost £1.30 for a pack of 12. I may need to drill them out so they fit properly. The bottom bracket was £13.54 new and the pedals were £19.35. The front derailleur was £6.99. The DRM clamps to attach the water bottle cages to the frame cost a total of £10.98 from Wiggle. And while I'm on the subject of clamps, the top tube clamps were £5.52 and the down tube clamps were £5.06. The chainstay clips were 598. Cable ties would have served the same purpose and been lighter, but it wouldn't have looked as good. The Ultegra brakes were £45 and the extenders attached were £22.98. Save money and purchase brakes with a right caliper drop or reach to the brake tracks in the first place. I was just determined I was going to use these brakes in the build. The wheel set was £84.98 from my local bike shop. The supplier is Bob Elliott. They're KX700C double butted road wheels with a screw on free wheel hub. I like these wheels and for less than 100 quid I'm happy with that. Support your local bike shop if you can. The rim tape was 2 98 from Wiggle along with inner tubes for 6 98 The tyres are Shelby Logano 2, if that's how you say that, with a slick tread pattern, 28mm and I picked up a pair of them for 28 99 now I've seen a single one of these on sale for 30 quid before, so getting them for half price is a bit of a bargain. The 6 speed mega range cassette was 1398. The derailleur hanger was 499. The derailleur extender was £5.30. If you've watched the build video, you'll know the original derailleur didn't work out. As the new derailleur was a gimme, I'll put that at £10 assuming I got a bargain. The original cost me less than a fiver, so 10 quid for a more modern derailleur in the state it was in isn't too bad. The chain was 7 99 The cable outers for both brake and shifters totaled £8.03, and, and the cables themselves were £6.42. I already had the bottle cages, but they were roughly £5 each. This brings the total cost to £459.33. Like I've already said, you can pick up the complete bike for less, but I would argue that doing it this way will make you more confident with bike maintenance and improve your ability to buy upgrades in the future. 
being able to recable your bike and adjust your derailers along with replacing cassettes, chains and chain rings will save you money in the long run. Let me know about your projects below and share any tips you may have about bike building. Please like, subscribe, share, keep training and I'll see you in the next video after the all important weigh in. Here we are. Fully loaded, that is 12.61 kilograms, which, okay, that's a bit heavier than uh, an alloy bike, but that's not too bad. That's alright for steel, surely. <laughs>